Hi, Jeff Higley with Hotel News Now. I'm sitting here with Monty Bennett, the CEO of Ashford Hospitality Trust and Remington Hotels. If you look at the real estate companies, the REITs, most of the office REITs, the apartment REITs, the retail REITs, uh, they're trading the public uh, uh, equity of these companies is trading right at about what they call NAV, net asset value, which is really the private market valuation of all these assets. Hospitality, however, is trading 40% below that number. So investors have particularly shunned hospitality uh, during this time. And um, you know, the respect for hospitality assets has grown over time, but I think it still has a long way to go because it's perceived as uh, more volatile than uh, some of the other segments. You know, there, there's some potential game changers out there. Uh, there's uh, always a risk of terrorism. If that became more part of, uh, of American life, it, it, it wouldn't matter how healthy the economy, it doesn't matter how nice your hotels are, people won't travel nearly as much. And then there's the uh, pending car check legislation, which um, um, could uh, have a, a stronger impact on, on unionizing hotels and therefore potentially could drive up labor costs uh, significantly for hotels. We're much more inclined to hold and to sell at this point because of the other opportunities that are available to us. So we can sell a hotel asset, knowingly give the buyer a uh, very respectable return uh, on their purchase, but because we've got a couple of other alternative uses of that capital that's very profitable to us, it still makes sense for us. So it's really a situation where everyone wins. A lot of the uh, buyers that were in the marketplace over the past uh, number of years uh, are just not in the market anymore. And so you're dealing with a different kind of buyers, uh, and uh, it's tough. Sometimes we'll have a, a property fall out five times uh, before a group will finally close on it. And so it takes a lot more time and a lot more work to get it done. And uh, you know we'll market a billion dollars of properties to sell half a billion because we know in half of them we just won't even get close to the pricing that we think is fair in this marketplace. A few owner operators, maybe a few private equity funds, but not nearly as many. Uh, but those uh, sp specifically dedicated to the hospitality industry, it, it, they just come from different directions. And, and just about every buyer that we've had has been a different type of buyer. A, a little bit of everything, but uh, their appetite for size is just not there. Uh, you, know, you can sell an asset maybe $100 million dollars but that's about as big as you can go. Um, but uh, you know, that being said, we've talked to a few folks about you know, a bigger portfolio of assets. And uh, you know, again, we'll get some traction for a while, then fall out and get some traction for a while. So uh, uh, we might be able to, to pull off a big trade, but it is tough going. Easier to sell the, the one-offs. All owners of hospitality real estate that can are holding on to their existing financing for as long as they can. Ultimately, uh, they're going to have to uh, start to refinance. But if it was something that was done more recently uh, and they're looking to refinance and they, they, they put a lot of uh, uh, financing on it, a high loan to value, then uh, they're going to have to either come out of pocket in order to refinance it or they're going to have to go out and get a MES loan from a group like us. The, the fundamentals, I think, are going to uh, be a little tough. Uh, like I said, uh, maybe small positives, small negatives over the next number of months. We're really going to have to focus on our costs and make sure our, uh, our yield penetration, our revenue penetration market is uh, uh, improving to take advantage of that. Um, but as far as the, uh, the transaction markets and the uh, debt markets, I don't think they're going to get better anytime soon, which is bad for us selling hotels, but good for us as we make uh, mezzanine loans. Uh, so there is a silver lining to it. But I think about this time next year, we're all going to feel a, a lot more beat up than we do even now. But I think we'll, we'll be in a recovery, but not really know it. Uh, and then uh, 2010 and beyond will uh, we'll look great.